Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is testing a low pressure gas line for a leak. Alright, so this is a natural gas line. Uh, so whether you have natural gas or propane, after the regulator and before the appliance, you're going to be in uh, low pressure, at least going into the appliance. You may have a couple regulators, you know, one at the meter, and then you might have another at a different location lowering the gas pressure, but when it comes into the appliance, in this case it's coming into a furnace, natural gas is running right around uh, five to seven inch water column. All right, and propane, when when you're going into a furnace, uh, that's gonna be running anywhere from about 11 to 13 inch water column. All right, it takes 27.6 water column for one PSI, all right, pounds per square inch. So, um, for natural gas, it's somewhere around a quarter of a PSI, and for propane, you're running a little bit less than about half of a PSI. All right, so uh, we want to just leak test this. Just say you're doing a, a furnace change out or something, and you want to just verify that there's a leak. You know, should you use should you use a flame to leak test? All right, something like this. Should you use soapy bubbles like dish detergent, or should you use a non-corrosive bubble leak detector? All right. So I'm going to recommend that you use a um, dabber like this, all right, with a non corrosive leak detector. Like uh, I use super glue for just about everything, all right. Uh, so, so that's what I'm using. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. I'm going to actually create a leak here. I'm in a safe environment, I'm in a testing environment here, all right. I have a fire extinguisher here, I have a bucket of water, you know, we're, we're pretty safe, all right. Uh, so, this is not to be recreated, you know, wherever you're at or anything like that. I just want to show you. Um, how sensitive testing with a lighter is. It's not very sensitive at all. And then the other question is, are you going to blow up? You know, the third thing is, does it even look right to the customer? No, it absolutely does not look right. So, so don't use a lighter to, to leak test for leaks. All right. So, but I'm just going to show you, show you why as well. All right. When I started out in the trades, some of the, it just happened to be some of the older technicians were actually using a lighter to test for leaks. All right. And what I did is since I, since I knew a little bit, you know, about what I was doing at that point, I had just started out. I waited for them to leave, was respectful. And then after they left, I checked it with a non-corrosive bubble leak detector. All right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and turn the gas on. All right. I hear, I hear the gas. All right, so let's just let's just go ahead and try and see if we see any bubbles. All right, so you see the bubble right there. That's with a micron bubble leak detector applied with a, a a dabber. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off, and you still we're seeing some of the bubbles forming right there. You still see the bubbles. All right, now we're gonna check it with a lighter just to see what it's gonna look like. All right, you see there's a little bit of a flame right there. I don't know if you can make that out or not. But just to give you a for instance, just so, so you can see it, all right, that is a flame, okay? Now we're going to tighten this down a little bit more, and we're going to see if we can continue to get that to light. All right. I saw it. St I saw a standing flame there for just a second. All right, let's just tighten it a little bit more. You can see maybe you can see those bubbles forming right there. All right, let's put the lighter on it. You don't see any any fire coming off of that. All right, the reason for that is that uh, depending on the concentrations, you know, you you need somewhere between six you know six parts air to uh, 20 parts air to ignite this, just depending depending on if it's natural gas, this propane, and how how lean it is or, or whatever, you know what I mean, as far as uh, creating a flame. So where the danger comes in at with a gas leak is when the gas leaks into a room and creates that, you know, uh, fuel to gas, uh, I'm sorry, fuel to air ratio. When it does that, that becomes a very dangerous situation when you have uh, some type of uh, ignition source, all right? So what we're doing here is I want to just just show you you should be using a micron leak detector like this. All right, uh, you should have already pressure tested the pipe ahead of time and everything. That should all be done. All right, 
Um, that should have all been done a, a long time ago and, and when the system was already installed. All right, but um, and a pressure test is actually done on the gas line by itself and it's not connected to any furnace or anything like that because the electrical gas valves inside the furnace uh, actually are, uh, are not rated for, for any more than, say, 13-inch water column. All right, um, but uh, the pressure tests are actually done uh, on the gas lines by themselves just to make sure that there's no leaks. So when you're doing a change out of a furnace or a water heater, I just want you to be aware of what you need to do as far as leak testing here. All right, so you're going to want to take your leak detector on all of your joints, and you can also take an electronic leak detector like a sniffer and sniff around as well. All right, so now that I put a lot of leak detector on, you can see the bubbles, the bubble action occurring. All right, and if you take a light on it, you'll see like glistening as well. Even if it's a very, very tiny bubbles, you can see glistening. All right, uh, but it is, you know, it's com completely up to you to uh, make sure that you have solved all of your um, potential gas leaks and everything like that. But I just wanted to show you what out of the three you should use. You should not use soapy bubbles and you should not use this. All right. Uh, soapy bubbles actually will corrode the pipe. All right. In the instance of a stainless steel corrugated uh, tubing as well, you know, even worse. You could actually create a leak all the way through stainless steel uh, corrugated tubing uh, within six months. All right. Completely through. It's no good. There's a lot of corrosive chemicals in uh, dish detergent, so do not use that. Make sure it's non-corrosive, all right? You can also use the electronic sniffers as well to go around that and uh, see if they, it smells any natural gas, all right? But the reason that this won't ignite right now, it may actually ignite some of the, some of the bubbles just for a little second. You're not going to be able to find leaks with a lighter, all right? So once again, that was just what some technicians were doing when I had started, and I knew, I knew better at least, you know? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. All right. If this was leaking, so you know, what you should do is you should turn the gas valve off. All right. Then you're going to take the cap off. You're going to wipe the old pipe dope off or the thread sealant. And you're going to put new thread sealant on and then retighten the cap again. All right. And that's how you would, how you would uh, fix that. But let's just see if we are still leaking. All right. So you got to think I just put... A couple cranks on that with the pipe wrench so let's see if we see any new bubbles forming all right so on the back here and you're going to see the bubbles kind of walking around to the front maybe um, we still have a leak all right so what i do i put three turns on that and we still have a leak on that all right actually we did it we did it this way all right because you're going to go clockwise to tighten counterclockwise to loosen we still have a leak on there, all right? So once again, if you have a leak, you need to shut off the gas, and you would be uh, wiping the threads down, uh, putting new thread sealant back on, and then retightening again until you don't have any leaks. But this video is showing you uh, nothing more than to at least you make sure you're using a micron bubble leak detector, you know, typically with a dabber, all right? You can follow that up with an electronic sniffer, all right, sniffing all around on the pipe. All right. Do not use soapy bubbles mixed with water. All right. That's a that's not a good idea. You know, it'll even rust galvanized piping. No problem. You know, dry, uh, wipe it off with a dry rag. Come back four months later and all of these threads will all be completely rusted. Solid. Complete rust there. No good. All right. And obviously do not check it with a lighter. All right. It doesn't even look good in front of the customer. I mean, that that's just ridiculous. So. Um, make sure you're using non-corrosive bubble leak detector followed up by your, your electronic leak detector. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.